Hey, Ross World. My money makes money. Merry friends. Merry friends. That's M E R R Y. Merry friends. So that means good friends, right? During the season that we're in. So you're trying to figure out is this person is a good friend or associate a friend or uh, associate of benefits that what they can offer you and help you out with. So I'm going to tell you what good friends do. Good friends, when you need help, they come to your rescue. That's what, that's what they do. They come to your rescue. A buddy of mine, he's moving and I've moved. <laughs> I don't even want to tell you guys. It's kind of ridiculous about five, six times in this state um, for various reasons. Nothing financial. But, and he have helped me every single time except once. And he moved a pretty big house to another pretty big house. And he didn't pay for movers because I was his mover. <laughs> Basically, him and another guy were, were great friends. We helped him out. Merry friends, okay? And with no equivocation, with no hesitation, with no slack, we helped without murmur that's complaining guys without any conversation or retribution that he was going to give us because we're married friends see married friends don't expect to get nothing we don't even expect to get a thank you because we know when we need you you're going to be there for us married friends even though he said oh man thanks bro oh man i should have did this before you guys got here man let's just get it done i'm here for you bro you help me out i'm help you out we, we you know we like blood Mary friends. See, that's the Mary and friends. And we ain't talking about no M A R Y. We're talking about M E R R Y. Mary friends. Do you have Mary friends? Do you have good friends? Do you have friends as like your blood brother, or your blood sister? See, you're trying to figure out how is this related to money? Because it's related to money because if we wasn't there for him, if we wasn't his Mary friends, then he would have to go get some movers and pay them thousands of dollars what it only took us. An hour or so, okay, to move the big furniture. That's all he wanted. That's all you really need. You get a few boxes, throw your clothes, throw your pots and pans. You shove that stuff in a new house, but you need somebody with the couches, the beds, the dressers, the the mom, the the amwas, the amwas, the, the grandfather clocks, etc. You know what I was trying to talk about. The chest, the chest that opens up at the top. You you know. But the point is, married friends. Do you have them? And if you don't have them, but you're calling people friends then they're not married friends. They're not good friends. Somebody said something to me. He said, you know, it's funny when black people, and I'm being, I know I'm being distinctive, guys, so if you're another race, it has, um, don't don't be offended. This is solely, I'm talking about them black people out there. When you're moving and then you call somebody, all of a sudden, like, hey, man, I need your help moving. They busy. They didn't have nothing to do all month, but when you call them for their help, they busy. Let me tell you something. I left work. Okay, I, I finished work and I went over to his house. Doesn't matter what I did at work, how tired I was. I want to go help my friend to the best of my ability. Okay, to the best of my ability. And that's Mary friend. That is a good, good friend. That is a friend that you can call a brother. That's a friend that you can call a sister. And these are the friends that you need in your corner because these are the friends that are going to help you stay the course. They're going to help you stay on track in all aspects of your life. And then, most importantly of all, they're going to help you to save that money, okay? Hey, man, I need your help doing this. Hey, man, I got you. I'm going to be there. What time I need to be there? Okay, man, I got to go do this first, but I'll meet you there at this time, or I'll give you a call one moment away. Merry friends. I don't want you to forget none of this during this really critical time of the season where people tro show their true colors because they didn't get a gift. Because they didn't get a car, because you didn't think of them, because you forgot to say Merry Christmas, because your Christmas list is a hundred names strong and you forgot one. Hey, listen, we're human. We forget. We got all these things going on. I got to run here last minute, run here last minute. Like today, you're out in the shopping malls, you're out in the corner stores, you're buying gift cards, you're buying presents. Some of you big ball of brand, you out there buying cars for your Loved ones, okay? Now, the reason why I say big baller brand, I'm not advertising, but if you can afford $500 shoes, <laughs> you can buy some stuff from some people. You feel me? So anyway, understand who your friends are, understand their status, and understand their commitment to you. Because I got married friends. I hope you do too. Have a Merry Christmas. 
Have a Merry Xmas. Have a Merry Hanukkah. Have a Merry uh, uh, Kwanaka. Kwanaka. Kwanzaa. And I think it's Happy Kwanzaa and Happy Hanukkah. Just to show I covered it all. And Happy Gift Giving Season. This is Ross World. I'm out.